take your spot. Mind. Another contentious issue between the tribes and the state is this piece of legislation on environmental regulations and permitting a process for mines. Much has been said on both sides of this important issue, but none has involved open and honest dialogue between the tribes and the state. A lesson to be learned from this is that better consultation between the state and the tribes is needed. We really need to make no mistake, the 11 tribes of Wisconsin opposed the proposed mining in its permitting process. <laughs> and we should act unified. I say unified with our relatives at Bad River Reservation and protecting the waters. I understand behind you. If you've never been to the Bad River area, never traveled to the Pinocchi Mountain Range, where the proposed mine is targeted, I, I encourage you to take your family there for a camping trip this summer and take in the beauty that our creators provide us. It's, it's, it's an awesome advantage. We cannot cash in our natural resources for, for, for corporate profit. It's not to be traded or our natural uses like some asset or commodity. We as tribal people of Wisconsin share the perspective of Chief, Chief Seattle, one of our profound elders in Indian country, as he spoke in a speech of 1854. Let me quote what he said. Every part of this earth is sacred to my people. Every hillside, every valley, Every clearing in wood is holy in the memory and experience of my people. Even those unspeaking stones along the shore are loud with events and memories in the life of my people. This was back in 1854. But it comes time, comes time to make a difficult decision on resources and policies that impact us both that we agree to meet. Sometimes we never get to agree, but we should never let outsiders make our laws for us. <laughs> well, then outsiders make laws that benefit, benefit them first, and we pay the price. We've seen that happen in the country, all across the country, over the decades of what's happened.